hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about blade templating and bootstrap integration in laravel so guys now let's get started with it so first let's move to our editor and here guys so first let's get started with blade templating so let's move to our resource views where you can see welcome blade dot file which is linked on this home page okay so now let's create one more page inside this pages on the name index dot blade dot php file so this will be my html template so instead of typing all the html tags let's copy that from the welcome page let's copy all and paste over here let's close this and just remove all these things so just remove this and we don't need this remove that done so guys now let's create one folder inside this views folder okay called layouts hit enter and inside this layouts folder we are going to create one file with the name front end dot blade dot php so inside this front end you need to paste this codes so first let us just take all this and paste over here inside this front end and now guys you need to yield some things okay so let's add over here one div and inside this at y i e l d function okay and inside this you are going to type content save and now let's extend this page index inside this okay so we need to extend this front end layout so let's use at extend extends so which you are going to extend inside the layout layouts folder dot front end app okay so this is a layout folder and set that front end app you are going to extend and the content you are going to give within the section so and the section and section and what over here you are going to type that yield content okay so this content copy this paste over here save and inside this h1 tag you are going to show welcome to laravel application okay let's type in a p tag this is the home page save and now let's redirect to this refresh over here your home page should come so this is my home page right so let's go to our route web.php this is a home page url let's go to this controller over here let's call that path so pages dot index file okay pages is nothing but your folder inside your views folder so this my pages and inside this index file is there right so this file we are calling done so let's refresh now we should be on the welcome to laravel application this is the home page cool so guys we have seen that how to do blade templating in laravel so now let's uh, integrate the bootstrap inside this laravel so where you have created your layout for this so let's go to our get bootstrap.com where let's click on the docs on this you can see css okay so this is the css so before copying the css you need the link so let's copy this link and paste over here so you are getting the source code right let's move back let's go to public inside this public folder create a folder called front end and inside this front end create another folder called css and one more folder called js that's it and now over here you are going to create a file css file bootstrap 5 dot css okay and copy this control a right click copy and paste inside this bootstrap 5 dot css 
so our CSS is copied. So let's close this and let's get back to JS file. Inside this you are going to bootstrap 5 dot bundle dot js okay so we are going to copy the bundle file bootstrap bundle file let's go back so let's close this link and yep guys over here you can see bundle let's copy this bundle tag copy and copy the source copy and paste inside your js file let's save and close this file again that's it so now one more thing we require the cdn link jquery cdn link so let's type link let's click on this and here is we are going to get minified file so let's copy this link and paste over here let's copy this name copy and create a file inside your public directory with the jquery 3.6 version okay control a copy and paste let's close this file so guys let's call this three files inside our layout folder okay so first it's a css so like that is with the help of asset function so open curly and close curly brace asset function inside this you are going to call the frontend folder forward slash css forward slash bootstrap 5 dot css that's it and let's copy one more thing and make this to custom dot css okay so let's copy this file name and create one more file called custom dot css so whatever we type over here all the css should be over here let's close and yes guys now let us link the script tag so script src is equal to with the help of asset function we are going to link that so let's call frontend folder forward slash js forward slash then this jquery file name so let's rename copy and paste that's it so same way you're going to do this bootstrap file also copy and paste that's it and now guys let us set up the file for this let's get back let's refresh this okay so it's working fine guys and now let us set up the file with this bootstrap thing so first we are going to select with the navbar navbar let's copy this navbar design and let's create a folder inside your resource views layouts i'm going to create one folder called inc that will be includes and inside this create a file called navbar.blade.php paste the code dark bg dark include this in your front end so let's use include function include where inside layouts folder inc navbar that's it save and now let us check the output guys over here refresh you can see that the navbar is set perfectly so i don't want this navbar to be fluid let's make it to this container refresh you can see it's working perfect so let me just remove make some changes over here let's add this to margin start refresh cool as we saw in previous video we have created about us and user things right so same way you're going to create other pages also so let's go to our index page copy this and paste inside our about us paste that and this is about page welcome to about page or i'll just give about page save and let's go to navbar add that 
about us about us okay as simple so let's remove all this unwanted links copy and paste so this will be our employee so which we'll be learning in further thing so guys now we have to give this url okay so how will you give that for that you need to open curly and close curly use the url function and inside this url you have to call this about as simple so let's copy this and paste for others also so control d paste so for this employee you need to call the employee and we are for this dummy we will give contact save and now let's just get back refresh over here let's click on about you can see about us let's click on home oops we didn't give url so let's set the url for this also so let's add that url where forward slash i'm going to give that's it refresh let's click on home so you can see home page about us page so guys this is how we are doing with the templating okay so this was our blade templating in laravel and integration of bootstrap in laravel so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share